So we are back with yet another first descendant video and today guys we go through the patch notes for hotfix 1.0.6 which has not long been dropped where they nerfed certain things we actually expected them to do and a few other fixes let's go how's it going guys my name is dpj and i'm giving away ultimate descendants or the equivalent in caliber to win simply drop a like on the video leave a comment down below and make sure you're subbed winners are picked from the comment section and announced at the end of the week so the more i see you active the more the chance you have of winning so good luck everybody also i joined my discord while you are there link down below i'm trying to build an amazing first descendant community okay so the hot fix of 1.0.6 is not long dropped so let's go through the entire thing and talk about it while we are there so obviously the platforms and release date you're seeing on screen that's for all platforms it's released already as far as i'm aware i think so pdt 9 a.m is that not now but either or it's coming too late okay so content improvements and indicator will be displayed when a slot item that already expanded the irrelevant slots to the limit is included as bundle content making it easier to check cool also, the price of the slot item will be deducted from the overall bundle price before the purchase, if the number of slots already reached the limit. Okay, optimization improvements. This is PS5 only. Improve some GPU load issues. Okay, so now onto bug fixes. Fix an issue where the acquisition of supply coin as a reward for season slash weekly challenges was not possible. If you completed the season slash weekly challenges before the patch, you will receive the supply coins upon logging in after the update. Okay, so now onto a bug fixes mission. Fix an issue where fewer monsters were being spawned during the Fortress Outskirts mission in White Knight Gulch. This is actually the spot, guys. If you are a bunny, you can get the reactor from this spot. If you don't know where this is, you're seeing it on screen now actually made a video on this earlier on in the week it's an incredible farm it was previously nerfed in the past but it's still great for doing what you'll need to do you'll earn a ton of kuiper here you'll earn a ton of gold here and again if you're a bunny interested in one of the best reactors you can get for bunny this is the place to farm so yes make sure you take advantage of this there ain't many days left of you being able to farm this okay so fixed an issue where outposts would start without a cooldown okay interesting that's going to require a little bit of testing fix an issue where monsters were respawning and normally at certain outposts interesting as well guys i wonder where they're talking about here they go on to state please note that exploiting system errors or specific actions to gain higher than intended benefits will be considered abnormal gameplay behavior and i'm wondering what they are talking about here are they talking about the xp farm i saw a moxie post yesterday where you basically hit the void reactor start the mission take out a bunch of ads abort the mission and restart it instantly is that what they're talking about here that's the only thing that comes to mind in my opinion if there's anything else in regards to exploiting i mean you can take this one of two ways i mean if it's a problem that's been in the game a bug that's in the game and players ain't aware that it's a bug and they're taking advantage of it i mean should it be considered abnormal behavior well, I get the point as well, if players are benefiting from a game breaking bug or glitch or exploit where they are obtaining abnormal benefits like it says here, I mean, I'm guessing guys, they may consider a punishment. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that Moxie XP farm did seem a little sus to me. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't take advantage of it. I mean, yeah, if that is what they are talking about though, players who did take advantage of the XP farm, I'd probably stay clear of it as of right now. But hey, we don't know exactly what they're talking about here. So yeah, any updates on this, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so now onto bug fixes and descendants. Fixed a issue where Jaber's total removal was intermittently not possible. Fixed an issue where the torn effect of Jaber's medical turret enhancement would intermittently not work. Fixed an issue where Valby and Ultimate Valby's cleanup skills would not end. Wow. Fix an issue where the relevant effect would not appear around VS's legs when using her skill Frost Road. Fix an issue where Kyle was not able to use his skill Superconductive uh, Thrusters if his max HP exceeded a certain value when his level was between 22 and 25. Fix an issue where Kyle's damage Superconductivity Thrusters would increase abnormally when using modules that apply status effects. I've actually got a little bit of gameplay on this on screen now. I saw this on Reddit absolutely 
wild people how powerful you could get Kyle's superconductivity thrusters to actually be. I've seen it one hit certain hard void bosses which is just beyond craziness people. So yeah that seems as though it has been taken out of the game right now and probably rightfully so. Fixed an issue where Eugen had to equip a lower level reactor to achieve higher healing output when the power of his skill was low rather than using a higher level reactor. Okay cool. So bug fixes and equipment, fixed an issue where motion would continue if a player maintained the zoom state while the single reload for peace effect of the peacemaker was active. Okay so now bug fixes a module, fixed an issue where the grappling hook could intermittently be used beyond its range when the mid air manoeuvring module was equipped. Didn't hear about that. And miscellaneous bug fixes. This is Russian only, fixed a UI display error of Pyromaniac Subquest, German, Italy, French, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish. Uh, this is their miscellaneous bug fix are fixed an error of Eugene's solidarity healing skill tool tip. And then a fixing issue where a newly added amorphous pattern material of mutant AA tooltip was incorrectly displayed as trainer amorphous material in some languages. And at the end with thank you. Now what I will say is uh, there's some expected changes here but there's also guys a change I thought was that was going to be applied to the Greg's reversed fate where it was over procking and I mean it was going beyond wild. Now there's no mention of this you're seeing it on screen now again thanks to my pal Mill Gaming for the gameplay footage you're seeing this on screen now. This is what the Greg's reverse fate is now capable of I thought it was something that was going to nerf. But it seems as though there's no mention of it. I don't actually have the weapon yet. I checked earlier. I thought I had it. I don't have it yet. So I'm going to have to research it. But if you guys have this. Please let me know down below in the comments section. If it's still capable of doing this. Because if it is. This has got to be a weapon I've got to go and get. And try out for sure guys. Because this thing looks absolutely wild. But yeah this is a Greg's reverse fate. Like I said I mentioned in my video earlier. I thought this was going to be nerfed. I thought it was going to tone back on this. But there's no mention of it in this hotfix patch notes in that video earlier also mentioned the Kyle OP build which we've seen they've actually nerfed now so yeah pretty cool and there's a bit of testing for me to do in regards to outposts and of normal spawn of certain enemies I got a bit of testing to do guys but anything I do find if it's interesting I'll let you guys know right here on my channel or over on my discord link down below but guys there we have it for another first descendant video if you enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.